Hi. Today I am showing you 7 extremely difficult questions, and if you can get them right you are a person with a very high IQ. You will have 20 seconds to answer each question, calculate how many questions you got right, and at the end, I will speak your IQ. Stay until the end because the last question is the most important. Let's get to the questions. Question 1. If the planet is round, what are the four corners of the Earth? The four corners of the Earth are believed to be a metaphor for talking about the four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. Question 2. Why did the kamikazes wear a helmet? But what are the kamikazes? In World War II there were Japanese suicide pilots who carried explosives in their planes and threw themselves on enemy ships, so they sacrificed themselves to defend their country, these pilots were called kamikaze, so the question arises, why did they wear helmets? The kamikazes wore helmets because if the mission failed, the helmets would increase the pilot's chances of surviving. Question 3. Why do 24-hour stores have locks? Twenty-four hour stores have locks because they may need to close at some point, for example, a holiday, renovation, or cleaning. Question 4. Why do people press the remote harder when the battery is low? When we take an action and the result is not what we expected, one of the effects is to increase the magnitude and frequency of the behavior. In the case of changing the TV channel, if the battery is low, the instinctive tendency is to press the button harder instead of changing it. Question 5. What is the difference between walking fast and running slowly? The difference is that in running slowly, for at least one moment of the transition of the feet, the person will be floating, without any contact with the ground. Walking fast means the opposite, the person always has at least one foot on the ground. Question 6. You enter a dark castle with a matchbox that contains only a toothpick. There is no electricity, but there is a candle, a gas lamp, and a kerosene lamp. What do you light first? You must light the match. Question 7. You are driving a bus with 43 on board departing Chicago. The bus stopped in Pittsburgh to pick up 7 people and drop off 5 passengers and stopped in Cleveland to drop off 8 passengers and pick up 4. Finally arriving in Philadelphia 20 hours later. What is the driver's name?
The driver's name is your name. At the beginning of the question, I said you were driving the bus, so you are the driver. Before going to the results I have something to tell you. I'm at the beginning of my channel so if you can like and subscribe because in all my videos I'm trying my hardest, thank you. This test is for adults and children so let's see your IQ. If you got it right between 0 to 2 you have an IQ of 85 to 115. 70% of the population has this IQ, I can say that you are normal. You got it right between 3 to 4 you have an IQ of 116 to 130. 13.6% of the population has this IQ, you have above average intelligence. You got it right between 5 to 6 you have an IQ from 131 to 145. 2.1% of the population has this IQ, you are very supportive. You got the 7 questions right you have an IQ above 145. 0.13% of the population has this IQ, you can consider yourself a genius. If your IQ is not very high, don't be sad, IQ is a test to train logical reasoning, but some people have other types of intelligence. If there was an intelligence battle between Mozart and Einstein, who would win? The answer to this fight would be difficult to answer because Mozart has a much greater musical intelligence than Einstein, but if he had to take a mathematics test, it is obvious that Einstein would win. If you want me to take a personality test to find out what your intelligence type is, let me know in the comments. There are also techniques on how you can increase your IQ, I will be leaving three of those techniques in the description of this video. Subscribe and leave your like because this video gave me a lot of work to do and help me reach 100 subscribers. See you later.